Hey guys, I'm Matthew Francis, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about watermelon. Sometimes when you get watermelon, you don't know if it's ripe, if it's good to go, or if you can actually cut into it and it'll be sweet and delicious. So here is some tips and tricks to figure out how you have the perfect watermelon, how you can pick it out at the store, make sure it's ripe, and some ways that you can use it in the kitchen. So first things first, I'm gonna teach you how you can actually pick out a really great watermelon. First thing that you wanna look for is what's called the field spot, which is always on the back of a watermelon or on like the underside because watermelon, they grow on a vine and the part that is on the ground is not reaching the sun, which means it's gonna be a different color, which is why you can see it here. And on the back, if it's white or green, it means that the watermelon is underripe. But if it's kind of like a creamy yellow like this, it means that it's nice and ripe. Second, when you're filling up your watermelon, it's important that it's really kind of heavier than it looks. You pick it up and when, you know when you like grab it, you're like, oh man, that's a good sign because that means that it's full of water. It should be about 92% water. And if you have a lighter melon, it means that it's kind of already losing some of its water. It's getting old and it's become mealy and dry and we don't want that. So the heavier your watermelon is, the better. And then also, since watermelons come in like hundreds of different varieties, there's small ones, there's big ones, there's different colored watermelons, you don't, you can't really go by color on the outside. So it's not like a bright green one is a better one than a, a dark one or whatever. It's more important that the surface of your watermelon is smooth, right? You also don't really want a waxy outside of your watermelon because that just means that it's going to be too young. You want it to be a little bit more matte on the outside. And then here's like a little kind of wives tale, but I kind of believe it. Some people swear by this. When you knock on a watermelon, some people say that when it's like hollow, it means it's a good one. And I've always used that technique and it works really, really well. So why knock on this? Listen to this, okay? Come closer. It sounds, it sounds like it's kind of hollow on the inside. If you have that hollow sound, what that means is that all the plant cells are still intact and just means that there is sort of like air pockets inside of your watermelon. If it's kind of not making that sound, it means it's mushy on the inside and all the plant cells have broken down. So that's a good sound when you hear that. So now let's talk about storing watermelon. Watermelon is picked off the vine when it's ripe. So when you buy it from the grocery store, you wanna eat it within a week. If you buy it fresh from the farmer's market or if you grow it yourself, once it's ripe, you can uh, save it for about three to four weeks uncut. But once you do cut it open, you kind of want to wrap it right away with some plastic wrap and keep it in the fridge. If you bought the watermelon fresh from the farmer's market or you grew it yourself, if you leave it uncut, it'll last three to four weeks or so. And then you just want to keep it in a cool, dry place. If you cut your watermelon, you want to wrap the pieces in saran wrap and you want to keep it in the fridge and it'll only last about one or two more days. So basically cut it, eat it, use it fresh. And if you are going to serve your watermelon sliced at a cookout outside and it's hot, Serve it on ice so it stays cold and fresh and really tasty. So some people like wonder, is watermelon good for you? And the answer is yes. It's both delicious and nutritious. It's a really great source of lycopene, which is also in things like tomatoes, and it's a powerful antioxidant. And it's also known as a really great anti-inflammatory fruit. Also, since there's a lot of water, it's very refreshing and has a lot of electrolytes, so it's gonna keep you really kind of energized and ready to go. And watermelon has a ton of vitamin A and vitamin C, which is really great for your skin and for your hair. And the final fun fact is, can you freeze watermelon? Yes and no. Some people like to make watermelon ice cubes by cutting the flesh into cubes and then freezing them. And they're really great for drinks, but not that great for eating because it's not gonna be crisp anymore. It's gonna be kind of mushy. Okay, so here we have our watermelon and there's many different ways that you can cut a watermelon. Uh, there's even like some like special little tools that kind of get you little cubes. But for me, I use like a classic watermelon wedge that I can hold on to. So I usually cut down the middle. Ooh, look how great that looks. Nice and red. Then I'm gonna flip it over, cut it again. And then we'll cut some wedges. There we go. That's everything you need to know about watermelon. There are some tips and tricks about making sure you always get the best bite that you can get. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our recipes. We make a ton of great videos that are going to be really, really helpful for you during this summer of recipes and cookouts. Don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great videos we do make. And I'll see you next time. I'm Matthew Francis. Bye-bye.